Hey everybody, I am Jess Birkin, that's me. I'm a solo practitioner attorney in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I represent nonprofit clients and help them deliver their mission. I'm also, as you can see here, the founder of this website, Hack Your Practice, which is an interesting side project I've started to try and help lawyers find more joy in their practice and more work-life balance through the use of technology and other things. So um, to that end, today I'm giving you a tour of how I use Acuity Scheduling to make my lawyer life a lot better. This is the acuityscheduling.com page. Um, I will throw up links in the video for you to try a free, um, free trial They've got a free account. It's a no-brainer. Click the link, give it a try if you like what you see today on the tour. All right, so let's get started. Um, the first way that I use Acuity to make my lawyer life better is to deal with networking. So sometimes you meet with people and you just would prefer that they come to you at your office. And so I send people a link and they click the link and they get to this page that just shows a very nice branded page it's using my law firm logo my law firm colors i've set what the background is and now you can see they have these options to schedule coffee at my office now my office is a co-working space called field collective so it's very clear that that's what we're gonna do. Um, coffee at the office. And then I've customized the description. It says my office is a really huge old warehouse. We've got a lot of great spaces to sit and have coffee or tea and have a chat. And the person simply just clicks in here, sets their time zone and goes through a scheduling routine that is very simple. Um, now I've defined on the back side when I'm available. So the calendar system is reading my Outlook calendar, my Google calendar and saying, hey, Jess is free on Friday at these times within the window of coffee that she has, has opened up for people. So as you can see, I'm not taking any coffee meetings on the weekend, first of all. Um, I'm also not taking any coffee meetings on Mondays or Thursdays. And then when I have something else going on, I'm gonna be out of the office or I'm otherwise busy. Acuity knows not to book me on that day because it's reading my calendar. So if you know this person wants to schedule with me at 9 a.m., they just pick that as an open time that works for them. They go through a simple registration process that is super easy. So we'll just say Jim Smith. Sorry to Jim Smith, you're about to get an email. And they get a confirmation, no big deal if they wanna cancel. Yes, cancel my appointment. Or they could reschedule it. Now they're also going to go ahead and get confirmation emails, um, reminder emails, all of that fun stuff. So it's just deadly easy, it's totally customizable. You can set exactly when you want it to be available for people. And if you wanna have people come to you, meet at your office for networking, you know, especially sometimes people where you know this is not, um, not gonna necessarily be like a long-term relationship, like it's someone who wants to sell you insurance or a Yellow Pages ad or whatever. Um, you don't wanna make a whole lot of effort to go out and meet them somewhere. You just want them to come in for you, to meet with you for coffee and you don't wanna call it a client meeting. You just wanna say, just come in for an informal meeting with me. So that's kinda of what I use this for. Now, um, another way to do it is to actually go meet on location. So when I want to do that, I send people a different link um, and I've customized all of my links through tinyurl.com. So they'll all be, you know, tinyurl.com slash Birkinlaw meet or Birkinlaw coffee or Birkinlaw clients. Um, so you'll see as we open this link here, 
going to say tiny URL Birkinlaw meet and that is the link that I send out for networking, um, referral with referral partners, other attorneys and folks on location. So here we go, it opens up the page and now what does the person see? They are seeing um, these options that are meet for coffee, meet for lunch or happy hour, okay? Um, now, obviously, I'm, I'm sort of guesstimating at how long these should be, but it's going to block off that much time on the calendar, and then if we don't need it all, that's fine, right? And I communicate that to my folks here. This is going to block off 90 minutes, but no worries if we need to head out earlier. One of the keys I find with using these tools is to just be really personable and really um, kind and make it something that understands that this person is not just you know you don't want to come off like a jerk and be like you need to pick from my schedule because I'm more important than you right no you're defining some parameters and you want to make it easy for them and add value to their life so you know you'd want to make sure to account for the fact that like somebody may not have an hour and a half for lunch so I'm letting them know that it's going to automatically set out 90 minutes, but just don't worry if, if it's going to be quick, like that's fine. So now let's say um, we're meeting for coffee. Again, they just go into this really simple interface. They pick a time. Here you can see I have a little bit different scheduling limitation. Um, I am, let's see, go out a little further. So again, I'm not taking any meetings on Mondays or Thursdays. Those are the days that I'm in my office getting my client work done. So people can pick from Tuesday, Wednesday, or Friday, and usually that's fine for almost everybody. So without saying, hey, I don't meet on Mondays and Thursdays because that's when I get my work done, I don't, I don't need to go through that whole rigmarole with people. They just come in and they say, oh, I see, she's generally available Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Let me find a Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday that works for me. It's, it's not even a spoken thing. It makes it super easy and you can sort of communicate your needs subtly without having to exchange 15 emails explaining why all those Monday times they sent you aren't gonna work. Now the other thing that you notice is that um, I do not have a breakfast option. That's on purpose. I don't like going for breakfast. So I just didn't create that option. Now if somebody wants to meet for breakfast, I will obviously do it. They'll just ask me and we'll figure it out. Um, but I'm not going to be available most of the time. Now here, if we pick a happy hour option and we go out a little bit in my calendar, you can see you're not gonna be able to get a happy hour with me for a couple weeks out of any given month. Now that's not just because I um, don't like happy hour, I love happy hour, but actually I have my kids, I'm divorced and I have my kids half the time. So I've made a commitment to myself and my kids that when I have them, I am not gonna be staying out late at my office or going to networking events, I'm gonna be with my kids. So now I have set that up on the back end to only allow appointments for happy hour on the weeks when I don't have my children. So again, without having to explain through a bunch of emails back and forth, well, I have my kids that week, so that doesn't work for me, and da 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 we, we skip all of that, and the person just sees, oh, these are all the dates when Jess is available. I guess I'll pick one of those. So that really improves my quality of life, and I know that it would improve yours if you did it that way to meet your needs. So another way, um, the third way that I use Acuity Scheduling is to meet with my current clients. So once clients have hired me and they're getting emails from me, they will find that um, in my email signature there is a, a link that says schedule a meeting with me and it provides a link to this page. So here my clients can see exactly what what they want. Where are you gonna meet with me? Are we gonna meet at my office? Or would you like to meet virtually with a video conference? Or would you like to do a phone call? Um, and I'm gonna allocate 
30 minutes for that call. We might not use it all, but that's okay. At least my calendar is totally blocked off. And if it's gonna be a much longer conversation, they can just pick an hour. And then again, it's the same interface. They just go through and May is almost over. So that's all booked up. And now here you can see my availability is much broader, right? Because I wanna make time for my clients all week long. Um, so on the weeks when I have my kids, my latest availability may end at five o'clock, but I am available all five days of the week. So, you know, it's reading my calendar in the background. It knows that I'm actually going to be out of the office on June 27th. So that's not even an option. Um, but clients instantly have access to me. They know they can schedule with me at any point. They are guaranteed I am going to pick up the phone for that meeting. Um, and it really provides that level of assurance and reduces any sort of potential for an ethics complaint that I have failed to communicate as a lawyer with my clients, right? Because if my client is feeling like they need an update from me and they're not getting it, they know they can just schedule a call with me. Um, that's It's totally okay. Um, so this really gives the client a lot of control and reassurance, which I think is outstanding. And it really makes my relationship with my clients much um, smoother. And I think they feel like they can always get to me at any time. So my clients are happier. I get more five-star reviews on Google. Win, win, win. Now, the fourth way that I use Acuity for scheduling is for paid consultations. So these are potential client meetings. And I do actually charge for consultations. Not everybody does. That doesn't really change anything for this. Um, you could certainly set up an appointment type for initial client consultations. You know, always be closing whether they're paid or not. Now, I do have a YouTube series on my um, Hack Your Practice channel that talks about why you should be charging for consultations and how to use Acuity to do it. And I would definitely encourage you to check out those videos. I will put links in the notes for, from this video so that you can get there. Um, here you can see I've got my startup. I do a lot of nonprofit startups. So startup consultation is a particularly specific kind of consultation and we've got several options. I can meet with them in person at my office or if they're from, you know, sort of a rural area of Minnesota, it may not be feasible for them to travel to my office. So I provide a video conference option and then my least favorite option is the phone call but you know sometimes people are not comfortable or feeling capable of the video chat so they can always do it by the phone call and here you can see i've customized the description to really explain what are we going to do in this consultation right because my startup clients they always have a lot of questions and so i want to make sure that they understand that they're getting bang for their buck with this paid consultation right um, I could see how this would work for lots of other types of consultations and um, I do have um, a couple of other types of paid consultations as well that don't necessarily have as detailed well here I can just show you this is a tour so let me just show you so like here's my general consultation it you know, very clearly explains this is for risk management, all the types of issues that it's good for. Um, and then I see I ran out of words and I gotta fix that. But if, if it's an emergency, I want them to call now. And this is just for general consults. So it's different price, different topic. Availability is basically the same. They just go through the same thing. You can see how it works. You're picking up what I'm putting down here. This is, it's not rocket science. It's just customization. All right, so let's go on to the fifth way that I use acuity scheduling, which is for flat fee packages. So if I can get there, here is an example of a flat fee package where um, an, 
I work with nonprofits, so for $1,000, the nonprofit basically gets to have me come in, do a very extensive interview with them. I assess their risks. Then I provide them with a written opinion letter that says, here's what's super critical for you to work on. And this is a way for a board to do due diligence and check in on their organization. Um, you may have a flat package. Let's say you're a criminal defense attorney. You may have a flat fee package for a DUI, right? Maybe you have a um, you know, $1,500, $2,000 first time DUI flat fee package. What a great way to schedule your initial consultation call for that and process the payment right away, right? Or maybe you offer a discounted flat rate for returning clients. And so they already know to go to you and they already trust you and they are gonna come in and just be like, yep, I'm done, we're doing this, let's book it. Now, obviously, if I'm doing an assessment, following up in written, there's probably gonna be a bunch of communication along the way. I'm not booking all of those things with this, right? But I am processing the payment and I am um, scheduling a 30 minute kickoff call with the client to begin the process. So the way I'm using it for flat fee packages is to schedule that first call so that we can get everything situated and open the file and start the process. So it's not scheduling like everything under the sun, but it's processing the payment and it's getting their kickoff meeting going. So that is the uh, basic five ways that I have customized Acuity to work for my law practice. I would love to hear from you about how you um, would like to use Acuity for your law practice or if you have any questions or comments or ideas or maybe you've tried using online scheduling and you've had problems. I love to help lawyers um, solve technical issues to make their law practice more fun and more fulfilling for them. And I would really encourage you to post a comment or you can email me, um, just get in touch. You can also join my mailing list here at the Hack Your Practice website. I've got a great ebook and you know can send you twice monthly tips and tricks to make your lawyer life a lot better. Um, meanwhile, if you want to try Acuity, I would totally encourage you to use my referral link. It does give me a couple of bucks and helps support my channel. Um, you know, they have a really great free account that you can try out and get started. And I will post that link here so you can just click and give it a try. So get in touch and let me know what you think. Thanks.